Peace to nowhere land. To nowhere land. Come along if you can. Hey ho, come on, let's go to nowhere land. With Maggie and the ferocious beast. Great googly moogly. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. What's wrong? Oh, it's boring. What's boring? Everything. Well, we can't have that. Besides, I have some things here. And believe me, you won't be bored. Oh, Maggie, you're the best. What is all that stuff? Before I explain, I want you and Hamilton to go find Nedley and Rooney and bring them back here. Aren't you coming? No, I'll stay here and set up my things. I wish you'd tell us what they are. Oh, come on, Hamilton. We'll be back in no time. Bye now. Maggie, we're back. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Just in time. Everything's ready. Yippee! Is this the surprise? We're going to play barber shop. Hmm. Who's going to be the barber? Me. You're going to give us haircuts? Right. <laughs> That's silly. You can't cut Rudy's hair. His hat doesn't come off. Can we take turns cutting hair? All of you are going to have something much better to do than cut hair. What? what? Tell, Tell us. us. There are four of you. Four is a quartet. So, we're going to have a barbershop quartet. Good idea. And I have a song I've been working on. I'll be right back. We're going to be a barbershop quartet. We're... Are we going to have straw hats? Oh, yes. We must have straw hats. But what about Rudy? He can't wear a straw hat. Ah, uh, Beast is right, Maggie. Don't worry, Rudy. You'll have a straw hat. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Now listen, here's our song. Follow the path to nowhere land Beyond the willow trees You'll find a beach with sparkling sand Kissed by an ocean breeze Stroll through the land of umbrella trees Drink from a lemonade spring Rest for a while by the river of dreams. Everyone join in and sing. Follow the path to nowhere land. Find time to spend part of each day. In a world we'll create. Please don't be late. Take my hand and we're on our way. That is a great song, Hamilton. Great googly mooglies, Hamilton. Your songs are as good as your pumpkin muffins. We should start to rehearse. First, the haircuts. Hamilton, have a seat. Please, have a seat. I'll be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> Just take a little off the top. Not too much. Oh, please, be careful. Oh. Relax. 
I'm finished. <laughs> Hamilton, you look different. I'm afraid to look. I liked it better the other way. You look very handsome. Maggie, you're not going to trim my hat, are you? Of course not. I'll file your nails. <sighs> Thanks, Maggie. You all look very nice. Thank you for polishing my horns. Let's start to sing. Not yet. Hamilton, here's your hat. Ooh. It looks great. This hat is Nedley's. It has holes for his ears. Oh, this looks great. Rudy, this is yours. I made it to fit over your hat. Let's hope it works. It's perfect. Thank you, thank you. Where's my hat? Right here. Oh, oh, how does it look? You are a handsome, ferocious beast. Thank you, Maggie. Now we have to make the handlebar mustaches. Ooh! There, Rudy. That should hold now. Thanks, Hamilton. You don't think mine is too small? Hmm. No, not at all. All right, get in a line around the piano. Hamilton, you sing the first line, then everyone join in. Follow the path to nowhere land Beyond the willow trees You'll find a beach with sparkling sand Kissed by an ocean breeze Stroll through the land of umbrella trees Drink from a lemonade spring. Rest for a while by the river of dreams. Everyone join in and sing. Follow the path to nowhere land. Find time to spend part of each day. In a world we'll create. Please don't be late. Take my hand and we're on our way. Little Pig Lost Maggie's late. Hamilton? Hamilton? What? I want to see what you're doing. Well, you can't. Why? Because it's a surprise. Oh, you always say that. Can't I see what you're doing? Not yet. Do you see Maggie? Nope. Well, I have to get back to work. Oh, they look so beautiful. I think I have enough. <laughs> Maggie loves balloons. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whee, 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 whee. <laughs> Maggie, where have you been? You're late. I had to get new shoes. Great googly moogly, Maggie. They look just like your old ones. Only they're shinier. Where's Hamilton? He's behind the hill, and he won't let me see what he's doing. <laughs> Hamilton! Why doesn't he answer? He said it was a surprise. Come on, let's find out what it is. Hamilton! Look, he was using the pump to blow up balloons. But where are the balloons? And where is Hamilton? I don't know, Beast. I have a funny feeling that something is very wrong. It is a bit strange. Let's try to figure this out. Oh, goody! What do we do? Hmm. Now, 
What do we know? Hmm. Now what do we know? We know that Hamilton must have been blowing up balloons because he was using the pump. Right. And here are the strings to tie the balloons. Right. But where is Hamilton and where are the balloons? I don't know. Hmm. Aha! Maggie, what are you going to do? Well, both Hamilton and the balloons are gone. I think Hamilton was holding the balloons and the wind swept them away. I'm going to let go of this balloon and see which way the wind carries it. Here we go. We must find Hamilton. Beast, move out! Too high up to let go. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Whoa! Help! Help! Ah! Oh, no. Help! Oh, this is awful. I don't know where I am. Oh. I'm not going to cry. I'm just going to sit here until I figure out what to do. <laughs> oh, I'm just a big baby. It's a good thing Maggie isn't here to see me. Oh dear. Oh, if only she was here. <laughs> I want Hamilton. Where can he be, Maggie? <laughs> Don't cry, Beast. We'll find him. I'm never going to be cross with Hamilton again. <sighs> Maybe I should start to walk. <laughs> but which way should I go? <sighs> oh. If I had some string, I could send this balloon up to the sky. Then maybe Maggie and the Beast could see it and be able to find me. But I don't have any string. I could unravel the yarn from my sweater. I'll do it. My beautiful sweater. Maggie, what are we going to do? Hamilton isn't anywhere. Please don't worry, Beast. Beast, look! It's a balloon. I think it's Hamilton giving us a signal. Follow the balloon. Hooray! Please, please, Maggie, Beast, look up. Look up. Oh, I'm so tired. Hamilton? Hamilton! Maggie! Beast! Over here! I'm over here! Oh. Hamilton, we were so worried. Are you all right? I'm okay. Dear Hamilton, we've been searching for hours. What happened? I was making a balloon bouquet, and a gust of wind came along and carried me away. <laughs> I drifted for a long time until I was finally able to land. Were you scared? Of course not. I knew you'd come looking for me. And you used the yarn from your sweater to send up the balloon? You are a wise little pig. Thank you, Maggie. But Hamilton, your beautiful sweater. I know. I'm afraid it's ruined. No, it isn't. Just collect all that yarn, and I'll have it fixed for you by tomorrow. Oh, Maggie. Thank you. It's my favorite sweater. 
<laughs> Hamilton, what's wrong? Nothing. Only, I didn't tell the truth. I was scared. I thought I'd never see you again. I guess we should go home. <laughs> the Cecil Bunyan's Detective Agency. Beast! Hamilton! Huh? Our Cecil Bunyan's Detective Badges came! Great googly moogly! I can't wait. Me neither. Cecil Bunyans is one of my favorite storybook characters. <gasps> <gasps> oh, Beast, they look so real. Mm-hmm. Yes, they look perfect. Where should we put mine? Hmm. I know. Let's hang it on your horn. We are now official members of the Cecil Bunyan's Detective Club. If we're going to open for business, we'll need a desk. I hope we'll be as good at solving cases as Cecil Bunyan's. Me too. Cecil Bunyan's is such a talented private eye. Maggie, do I look like a private eye? You certainly do, Beast. This is so exciting. Isn't this exciting? Hamilton, you really look like a private eye. I know. <sighs> now what do we do? Hmm. We wait until someone needs a mystery solved. I hope it doesn't take too long. I don't like waiting. It's boring. What are you doing, Maggie? I'm cleaning my magnifying glass. Why? I'll need this to look for clues. Oh! Are you polishing that badge again? Well, there isn't anything else to do. <sighs> what are you doing, Maggie? I'm studying this ant. What's he doing? He's shaking his fist at me. I think he's saying something, but I can't hear him. You need a magnifying ear. <laughs> what does he want, Maggie? Let me see. He must be in some kind of trouble, but what? This is very exciting. It is? It's our first case as members of the Cecil Bunyan's Detective Agency. Hamilton's right. We have a mystery to solve. But how do we do that? We watch and wait. Right. We watch and wait. What for? For the little ant to make a move. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Detective work is boring. Patience, Beast. Look! He's moving towards the table leg. Great googly moogly. What are they doing? It's elementary. Right, it's elementary. Tell me what elementary means, Maggie. It means it's as plain as the nose on your face. And I've solved our first mystery. Oh! I guess you'd better explain. Don't you see? The leg of the table is resting on the entrance of their home. Our little aunt can't get in, and his family can't get out. Hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that better? We should write a letter to Cecil Bunyans and tell him how we solved our first mystery. Good idea! But first, I'm going to polish my badge. Me too! Whee! Oh! Oh my! Hamilton, what is wrong? My Cecil Bunyans detective badge is missing. Green tangerines! It has to be here! 
Somebody stole Hamilton's badge. Impossible. There's nobody here but us. Well, it didn't get up and walk away by itself. Oh, dear. If you write that letter to Cecil Bunyans, please don't tell him I lost my badge. Hamilton, you didn't go anywhere so you couldn't lose it. That means somebody had to steal it while we were solving the ant mystery. But there's no one else here. Dear Hamilton, don't be upset. I'm going to solve this mystery. You frightened that poor crow. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I am going to solve this mystery. How? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. Maggie, how am I going to solve this mystery? Maggie? What? How am I going to solve this mystery? I have a plan. Hamilton, get some of those blueberries we picked for a pie. Okay. Why do we need blueberries, Maggie? Hamilton is going to drop them along the ground. Why? So that the crow will follow him picking up the berries. Why? I have to get him off that branch and away from that tree. Why? You'll see. Now go. Okay, now take me over to that tree. Here it is. What? The crow's nest. Got it! Hamilton, I found your badge! <gasps> oh, thank you, Maggie. How did you know it was the crow? Elementary. What does elementary mean again? It means there's a simple answer to your question. And the answer is... It had to be the crow. There was no one else around. Besides, I remember that crows often take shiny things and hide them. We solved two cases in one day. Now I think it's time for Hamilton to bake a blueberry pie. Mmm. All this detective work makes me hungry. 